We've got big breaking news coming in from Russia. Prime Minister Modi, remember, is currently in Moscow uh, and is meeting with President Putin. And the big news that's coming in is that six more nuclear power units uh, will be, in fact, given to India by Russia. The Russian State Atomic Energy Agency has confirmed this, which is Rosatom. They've said that uh, they are in discussions with Delhi to construct the six high-power nuclear units as a part of a new project, as well as developing low-power nuclear power plants in India. Uh, in addition, in April, India was provided with information on solutions in the field of floating nuclear power plants, a tech that Russia had recently acquired and immediately chose to share with India as well. Gaurav Sawant is joining us live from Moscow with more details on this. Gaurav, big, big takeaway, another big takeaway rather, from the India-Russia meeting that's happened in the last 24 hours. Six more nuclear power plants in which India and Russia will collaborate. So uh, there is forward movement on nuclear energy. India uh, has been uh, looking at nuclear energy in a big way. Remember, Russia already has the Kudan Kulan nuclear power plant in which uh, two uh, are operational, two more are in advanced stage of operationalization. I want to just uh, you know give you an idea of what has uh, has been told. Uh, green growth and development is one of India's key focus areas. Two units of 1,000 megawatts each of the Kudankulan nuclear power plant are already in operation. These are based on Russian technology. Two more are in advanced stage of construction. And this is where India is actually seeking at this stage to secure long-term supplies that the two upcoming nuclear power plants are able to perform uh, you know uh, without without any hindrance of getting nuclear energy uh, this is what we've been told by our sources but this engagement between prime minister narendra modi and the russian president vladimir putin is big on multiple uh, fronts uh, you know india has been very very keen one secure affordable energy supplies now this is india's long term concern for indian economy to continue to grow at the pace at which it is growing uh, to remain the world's fastest growing economy and to reach the stage that india becomes the third largest economy in the world by 2027 28 what does india require to keep inflation down to have to ensure price rise is kept under check and russia is an important partner to meet india's energy needs so last year uh, more than 80000 uh, 80 uh, million metric tons of crude was imported from russia how does this help india one india does not need to buy expensive expensive oil from from west asia two uh, west asia prices remain in check and three india is then able to refine that crude and further export it to other countries so it's a win win for russia and a win win for india but uh, India needs, uh, you know, assurance of a credible supply chain and and uh, assurance on prices. That is something that India is seeking. Uh, point two, very very important point, not just for India but also for the developing world. If I quickly may, uh, farmers' interest in food security. Why is this important? Fertilizers come from this region and they are used not just in India but also across the developing world. In case of conflict, availability of fertilizers becomes a major crisis. So Russia remains an important supplier of of fertilizers. Last year, forty. 8 lakh tons of fertilizers was imported from Russia. Now this supply of fertilizers is extremely important for Indian farmers in the ongoing Kharif season and Ravi season uh, starting from October. This is what India is seeking. So a lot of these developments, uh, you know, we, we expect good news from the conversation that is happening between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Russian President Vladimir Putin and then from directions that come from those talks, talks that take place at the delegation level. Have we seen Akshita. pictures right now, Gaurav? Of just stay with us. These are pictures from the Rosatom Pavilion uh, where Prime Minister Modi was accompanied by President Putin and he was taking him through, in fact, the entire center, showing him some of the technology uh, that they've come up with. There were detailed explanations on exactly what kind of tech and how it benefits really Russia. You see that image of Prime Minister Modi also patting the Russian president's shoulder there as they're discussing key features that they've come up with. All of this helps also in India. Also, the fact that you already see seen the exchange of tech happening just two months ago between India and Russia on the nuclear front. There's also a lot of talk, Gaurav, uh, about uh, you know India and Russia jointly developing the transit potential also of the Northern Sea Route. And that's something also that will be very crucial as far as nuclear energy uh, you know, alliances are concerned. 
You're absolutely right, uh, a, a key area. So the images that you're just describing uh, at the exhibition, uh, the Prime Minister of India and the President of Russia uh, are at that exhibition. And this is one area where India and Russia have been cooperating for quite some time. And that cooperation has held India in good stead. How do you take this forward? Uh, you also have the Prime Minister and the President who will be interacting with, uh, with a group of Indian students and a group of Russian students. Uh, they'll be talking about uh, nuclear energy cooperation between India and Russia. One, how do you take this forward uh, that it remains a win-win for both, remains affordable uh, for, for both uh, and, and also Connectivity is an area where Prime Minister Narendra Modi has laid emphasis on. Uh, the Chennai Vladivostok corridor is something where ports along India's east coast uh, will be connected uh, to the Russian Far East. And how does this help? This helps in one, energy requirements uh, of, of India. And how does it help Russia? A lot of um, fruits, vegetables, other equipment from, uh, and, uh, and equipment from India can be transported to Russian Far East. Uh, uh, you know, automobiles is a sector where cooperation is being talked about and sought. Uh, automobiles, spare parts is an area where cooperation is being sought. So there are multiple newer areas of cooperation th that are being explored between India and Russia. Traditional cooperation has been extremely strong. You heard Prime Minister Narendra Modi say that this is one relationship which has remained very, very strong. Russia has stood with India through thick and thin. Rus hamara sukh dukh ka saath hi hai, is what Prime Minister Narendra Modi said. Uh, he talked about the cooperation uh, between two countries uh, that have been mutually beneficial. Uh, you know, when you talk to Indian officials and you talk to the Indian diaspora here, they say in every relationship globally, uh, you know, there are highs and there are lows. But in Russia-India cooperation or Russia-India friendship, it's been a steady high from day one till date and the effort is to take that trajectory even higher if you like the video do like comment share and subscribe